FBI and National Transportation Safety Board investigators are in Washington State sorting through the wreckage of that stolen plane that crashed following a chase involving military jets. Horizon Air says one of its employees stole the empty passenger plane at Seattle Tacoma International. Kim Hutcherson has a closer look at where the investigation stands. A bizarre chase in the sky. A pair of military jets flying behind a stolen passenger plane as the man behind the controls performs stunts. Hey, pilot guy, can this thing do a, uh, a backflip, you think? Air traffic control tried to talk him down to a safe landing. Authorities say the man was a 29 year old ground service agent for Horizon Air. He had uh, access uh, to that area legitimately. Uh, it is inside the security fence, and um, so no security violations were, were committed. The sheriff's department described the man as suicidal. Just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Witnesses say the plane was flying erratically and believed it was a military exercise. We'd never seen a plane that low over our deck before. How the hell did somebody get inside a plane at SeaTac Airport? That's not okay. I cannot believe that would have happened. Yeah, no, impossible. The chase came to a fiery end when the plane nosedived and crashed in a wooded area about 25 miles south of SeaTac. Authorities believe the pilot was the only victim. We're lucky that it, you know, went on a very unpopulated island. Investigators now combing the wreckage looking for clues. The incident is raising a lot of security concerns. No one knew what his intentions were. Mm -hmm. He could have uh, easily turned north and gone to downtown Seattle. Uh, he could have caused, you know, countless deaths on the ground. Kim Hutcherson, Kelloland News. The incident shut down SeaTac Airport for several hours and delayed dozens of flights, but operations there are now back to normal.